So this is going to be a demonstration on how to take a blender scene like this where I have multiple armatures and uh, multiple meshes and stuff that needs to be collided with and bring that all into Godot into a uh, functional package that our character can walk around on and I'm going to cover bring it in uh, in my recommended way which is GLTF and then Collada and then ESCN and each one of these has their quirks and drawbacks so I'm just going to talk about those um, so first things first we're just going to look at the blender scene so the first thing that always confused me when I was trying to make 3D scenes at first with Godot and Blender is how do I do all the collision and uh, one way to do it is if you have complex geometry like this table and I really don't need collision up here and there's really no reason to make all those vertices. So instead of importing that with a uh, dash col like this shelf which is just simple geometry um, that'll make a static body uh, sibling for that mesh. I made this tabletop collision and I import that as a with a call only tag. So that'll make this cube right here collision only static body with uh, no mesh to be seen inside of um, Blender. And let me just show you what that looks like. I mean, to go. So right here we have our table. So we can move this around. Uh, let me go to my transform. So if we move that around, we can see that our actual collision on top here doesn't move. It's a separate object. And so that is just the static body, whereas this is just the mesh. So I'll go ahead and control Z and then we'll go back to our Blender file. So uh, yeah, that's very useful when you have complex geometry like these books. But instead, I just made this um, bounding box that the player can't walk into. And I'm just displaying it as wire in the viewport display. Uh, if you go to this tab here with the orange box and you scroll down to um, this right here, you can change it to solid or wire. So another thing is about collisions. If you have an object like this, uh, I don't have any collision on this because um, there's uh, the player is probably not going to get up to there. So. And uh, an object like this, all you have to do is just go ahead and slap dash col on there and it'll make a static body sibling with the mesh attached. So I'll just show you what that looks like real quick right there. So you have your, this was generated for me and so was that. Just the uh, dash col and that works for all file types as far as I'm aware. Let's see, yeah. Yep, that appears to work for all file types. Alright, so this bridge here is probably the best example I have of uh, simple geometry being used to um, for the character to walk on. This is the collision geometry and then the bridge right here is just for show. So uh, if I control Z, we see that the bridge, uh, the plane bridge that I have selected here is call only, whereas this one Let's see, where is that even at? It's just a mesh with no tags at all, so it's just going to come over as a mesh. So the next thing is animation and armatures. And if I click on my pot here, uh, it used to be a blue pot, that's why it says blue pot fall, but we can see that it falls down through my animations. And we have animations on a lot of other stuff, but the this animation right here, Blue Pot Fall, is only for the pot. And if I click on my shelf, it is only for the shelf. And then this bracer, this is only for that bracer. And that would be my advice, is to try and keep things as modular as possible. So if you have objects like this that aren't controlled through an armature, I would just um, try and make their own animations for each separate object. And so uh, those aren't as complicated when you import those. Uh, I'll show you how it does differently with the ESCN importer and the uh, GLTF importer. And um, armatures can be a little more complex because you have, uh, I obviously have multiple animations for this armature, but basically just put them all in there and uh, they seem to come over just fine. And I'll show you how to work with that a little more. 
So from here, if I go into Godot, we'll go to our GLTF file that I exported. And uh, the main difference is if I come down here, we have an animation player. And this animation player contains all of our, uh, all of our animations. So if I go to the plant talk, our plant is talking. And then if I go to, uh, let's see, point the flask. And I play that. That's an animation on this little guy over here. You can see he's moving around and our plant's not moving. And so um, if you want to play multiple animations, what you have to do is control D, make another animation player, have this one do something different. So if we do that, we can see that um, I'll put that on repeat and set it to play, and then we'll put that on repeat, set it to play. So both of these things are happening at the same time. So you can just, you know, uh, do that again, control D. Um, let's see, uh, what's a good one? Blue pot fall, all right. So now I'll go ahead and play that. I thought it should be that one, my bad. Uh, let's go plant move. So now we got the plant moving. And so those are all, I just control D that, um, uh, that animation player right there. So uh, if you do it as an ESCN file, you don't have that problem because each separate one will come in with an animation player already there, which is kind of cool. But like, uh, so this is on a crate. There's no animations to it. Uh, you don't need it. It's just there for some reason. And um, let's see, I click on my plants. That's got an animation player on it. So I can select one. And uh, I haven't had a lot of luck getting the meshes and armatures to come in so well with the ESCN. So as far as I'm concerned, I would always use the uh, GLTF. And just to look at the Kalata file, which I never use, if we, everything, all the armatures are still around. Uh, like there's the armature for the body right there. There's the plant one, but the plants have reverted back to their normal transform, which is really weird. And so it only has one animation player down here, just like the GLTF. And if we play it, uh, we got some problems. And if we hover over this warning, edited, import, animations so we get this uh i would say okay i would just definitely recommend not using colada use gltf